I'm thrilled to be seeing Rosie Abel Smith today, who is the most fantastic gardener and has got the most enchanting garden here near Bisley. And Rosie, you've been here for nearly 30 20, years. Yes, 29 years, nearly 30 years. Um, 30 years next year. Uh, and everything that you, you have planted here is pretty much yes, you, you is from scratch. You couldn't get down to the, no, the next level. This was all a field below, and there was nothing up here uh, worth speaking of. There were no beds and no, no climbers and no trees. and So we did everything really from scratch. Um, How wonderful. It's so lovely. And all the trees that you can see I've planted. So, so sort of well, I'd love to talk about the trees because um, we are going to be uh, cele celebrating the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. We want to encourage members to take part in the uh, Queen's Green Canopy initiative. Um, so I want to encourage all members to plant a tree, um, probably from October, because so it's not planting yeah, season now, exactly. is it? Um, but can you recommend what would be... Oh, uh, there are so many yes, trees. So many. Uh, well, it but somebody what doesn't size know. garden they've got, because some people think, you know, they can't plant a sort of beech or something because it's going to be too big in a small garden. But there are so many trees so many trees that you can plant in a small garden, fastidiata type ones that, that don't spread too far, you know, um, like the cretaceous down there, the fastidiata cretaceous and things like Prunus amanagara. Oh my and, goodness, all these names. Yeah, the, there are so many neat trees that you can plant in small gardens, but then if you've got the space, then obviously, you know, it's wonderful to plant oak and beech and hornbeam are very good trees because they're so easy and you can do so much with them. Um, and then, you, you know, it's lovely having trees with autumn color. But as we go around, I can sort of show you the ones that have the best, okay. that, that I think are the best ones for autumn and and flowers and autumn yeah. coloring. Yeah. And also yeah. ones that perhaps one doesn't want to sort of wait years and years. Exactly. Yeah, some, to... some are quicker growing. Yes. That is very okay. true. All right. Absolutely. But so where should we... Um, well, if we go start. through here, um, there are all, all the Cretaceous family are, are so well worth planting. So, Ollie, if you look at that one, which you can't really see, but it, it has lovely grey leaves and, and it has very big, lovely white flowers in the spring and then it has big crab apples which, I mean, it's obviously not crab apples because it's a Cretaceous, but yes. that's one Cretaceous well worth planting. Okay. And the one behind here, which is very pretty shape and really pretty, is something called a Creta mespilis, which is a Cretaceous crossed with a middler. And it makes a really pretty tree. And any minute now, it's covered in white, single white flowers. And it, it's very oh, decorative. Lovely. And then another Cretaceous is this one here. Ollie, which, which makes the most lovely shape and has fantastic autumn colour. And that's Cretaceous Crust Gallii. And that has the most wonderful autumn colour and masses of red berries. Oh, lovely. So, um, What's this tree here? Rosie? Well, this, this I've just made an arch. I've just, I've just crossed um, Copper Beach on the left with Sorbus Lutisians, which um, is a, a pretty... What, quite a small, not a huge tree, and so I just clip it, okay. uh, you know, to Lovely make an arch. Shape. I've just clipped it over the years, um, and and many of the prunuses are, are well worth having. Um, but you know, for the cherry, you know, all the cherry blossoms. In yes. other words, yeah. all the cherries in small gardens. Are, uh, not all of them, but most of them are, are very decorative. Yeah. Um, uh, this is actually. Terribly pretty. That's a Melus, actually. Melus floribunda. That's a decorative crab apple, but it's not grown for for its apples. It's just very decorative, and that has quite good autumn colour. Um, and then another good tree here. Um, the, these are, that's terribly pretty. Um, Prunus salicifolia, which is rather pretty too, with its grey leaves, um, and it has white flowers. 
Um, gosh, you've got such an amazing view. Look at that. Just yeah, actually, the, 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 the view that. is wonderful. When the sun, unfortunately, it was cloudless sky. Over, it? And now, now it's, um, it's clouded over. And it's so lovely. The sun sets on that hill. And in the autumn, it's incredible. I bet it is. It really is. But those colours are amazing. And you know, they, it's so funny, a lot of people uh, think, you know, think sycamores are boring trees, but uh, they make the most spectacular trees. Yeah. They really do. I mean, that's a massive sycamore, but I love them. Yeah, they're lovely. And then, uh, these really are lovely. Well, but, um, and then, uh, and Rosie, hang on, I just said, oh, sorry, I do apologize. I just think I said prunus, paris. Oh, okay. Paris oh. solitifolia. Oh, Did I say well prunus? Done. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this is Paris. No, Paris Solitifolia. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Sorry, my, my brain hasn't filled uh, um, at all. Um, I, love, I love this. I let look at all this all come up everywhere because uh, this is the honesty, you know, which is so pretty. And, and I, it just pops up everywhere. I mean, that's the other thing. I, I do, I'm not a neat you know because it's very much a cottage in the middle of nowhere so i love all the wild things spreading so you know i don't i don't mulch um because i like all the sort of little things that seed around to come up yes. between between the other things you know between the plants and, um much more so it's, it's not a very wild and <laughs> natural yeah. yeah um and then i i I've got a lot of fruit trees, which were not particularly good fruit trees, right, where yeah. I grow rambling roses. So rambling, obviously they're not out yet, but I've got several as we go down the garden, which That's is just... good idea, full of rambling roses. Um, Rosie, different. can I just quickly ask you, as we're sort of here, sculptures and things, um, how, how does one sort of creating focal points in in gardens how do you sort of um, think it adds i mean you've got a few things yes i mean I, I i don't like too many but it does it's rather nice to have them to lead you somewhere or yes. at the end of an avenue for instance yeah um or or as a center point of a of a sort of planting a wild bit Yes. area and yeah. you could have a big pot in the middle of it or something you know full of something or or even empty if it's a beautiful yes. empty but um yes I, it's difficult i think you know a i seats. don't like have you got many yes i've got seats. i'll show you yes, yes. I, I have to say i have got seats a lot of sitting areas um because it's lovely isn't it I mean, so you, can, you can sit here oh, oh yeah on, I, i've got a bowl oh it doesn't matter <laughs> um I mean, this you can sit. I just planted the yew there and just let it go and kept cutting it every year. And you can sit there in torrential Absolutely. rain and never get wet. That's and brilliant. then the, these these are very pretty. Again, these are cornices, okay. uh, but they're cornus controversa variegata, which is the variegated cornice. And it, they're terribly pretty because they grow in those sort of layers, so which, are, which are pretty. Um, and do you sort of create you know like sort of with interiors of a house create sort of rooms within your garden yes i slightly more in the which you when we come up okay. the, in like in the kitchen garden so yes. the, the, the room but because this is i think if i was it, when i've designed sort of a formal a form much more of a formal house garden then yes. i think i would probably do more rooms yeah but i do have sort of areas you know which well you as you see yes yeah but but um yes i i think i do sort of have so I ha yes i do sort of I, if you think of it as sort of rooms so I, I have areas oh gosh i've left the ladders out <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see it's all working, it's all, you know, work, working um, garden, work in progress. Um, this is such a beautiful tree, isn't this it? This is Magnolia Elizabeth, which um, is a fabulous magnolia. And luckily she wasn't hit by that frost. We went down to minus seven here wow. on it for one night. Um, and amazingly enough, I'm on lime, as you know, I mean, Cotswold Bratch, in fact, but she, she's 
really they normally prefer acid soil magnolias. Yes, I was going to say, yeah. I'm surprised that they're um, flourishing so beautifully it's, it's here. It's amazing. I mean, I'm so lucky. And that's actually a rather awful name, Susan, for that one. But anyway, I don't Pre Susan's why. pretty. <laughs> well, she is pretty, but why we have to have Elizabeth and Susan? I'm okay. um, but, um, and then actually my Solangiana, which is in the dog kennel over there, that was hit badly. And was like it? you've probably seen so many magnolias, which have gone all brown in the frost. Yeah, It's so sad. I mean, what because they come out a bit earlier, those ones. Mm. But luckily she's she's a and, bit late. And, and did these magnolias come out earlier this year because we have had actually a, warm, a pretty yeah. warm winter? Exactly. Then they get fooled and... Uh, it's exactly yeah. that. And a lot of them were early. Yeah. And then they get hit. And we seem to get... Last year in April, we had this really hard frost of it that really um, affected the apples and the pears last year because the, the, the frost hit the blossom yes. so hard yeah. in April. And um, oh, yes. that was, and you know, this was the same in a way, but yeah. luckily, luckily the blossom is fine, the yeah. apple and the pear blossom. So it must have been a bit earlier, I think. Yeah. Yeah. These are more, you know, rambling roses. That Sanders white and um, I, I think that was Francis E. Lester up there and Paul's Himalayan musk here. Yeah. And this is another cornice. They're rather lovely. This is straight cornice, uh, controversial, rather than very gutter like those ones. And they're so pretty the way they grow in layers. Yes. And then the, they have white flowers that just sit on the top of, so of the of, that sit on top of yes. the leaves. So later on, that looks lovely. Um, and the, uh, these are the. <laughs> Silk so Jack Montii, you know, which are lovely with, in the winter, you know, when there's nothing else really, yes, in, 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 in nothing much in leaf. Um, it's rather nice to have the white stems which yes. flow in the winter light. You know, that's the sort of that's area where I, I put, I never plant anything in that, but I just, it rather goes with the yes, trees. Yes, no, it does. So, um, it does. That's a very good small tree. That's um, Malus Everest. This one here, yes. the flowering one. Yes, that's Melis Everest. So um, how, for instance, that, the Melis Everest, did you, how long ago did you plant that, approximately? I, mean, I how would long say ago? that was probably 20, 18, okay, 18 years. Right. Something like that. Yeah. Um, uh, and um, um, are there, does one need to be pretty careful, depending on where you are in the UK and what sort of... Um, soil um, you've got well with all know, some will flourish in all the sort of melises and prunuses will grow in either acid or okay you know it's 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 it, you know only all the rhododendrons and all the acid loving shrubs and yeah and a lot of trees which only like acid mm. but um all the sort of typically you know oak beech yeah ash yeah um all of, all of the sort of trees that hmm. probably people would plant in, in yeah. if they're doing a big field of and make it make a wood. Hmm. Then, but apparently, um, uh, uh, there's a wonderful, uh, probably one of the most knowledgeable men in the country on trees, somebody called Tony Kirkham, right? Who is my absolute hero, but he's he's worked. Um, run Q for years and he's just retiring and it's rather interesting because he's now going to be lecturing around the country oh, wow. um, really telling telling everybody what they should be planting okay oh, you fantastic. Know, if you're planting a wood or yes um, oh what oh, are we looking oh, oh okay. no that's true, yes yeah. Th this is Asa Grisium Gosh, rather amazing. Uh, this is your you'll see three better ones there, but this is unbelievably wonderful. Wow. The bark is fascinating, and if you it's so if you touch it, it's absolutely wonderful. I love them, amazing. it's so smooth. I mean, look between the and it's so pretty. And in the winter, it's it, it all glows when it's when the sun is on it. These are bright oh, orange in the winter, it's, it's gorgeous, sort of transparent. On it. Yeah, it's a wonderful tree. And this is a, um, a mulberry. This is a mulberry, which is always very late to come out into leaf. But this is a black mulberry. 
That's very good too and delicious too. Yes, um, yeah. And um, Rosie, uh, planting these trees, when you plant a new tree, how much should one water? I mean, do you need to be really... Well, it's, it's very interesting. People say so many different things. But again, mm. um, Tony Kirkham said you, you shouldn't. Yes. <laughs> if you plant a young tree, it's got to learn to fend for itself. Stand sort of thing. on its own I mean, look, look, when, you, when you see all those hundreds of trees, you know, being planted in yeah. a huge area, they don't get watered at all, mm. you know. And they have to, I mean, obviously some of them do die. Yeah. But I think if you're, if you've got a small garden, I, I think I, I would definitely, you want to water it in yes. when you plant it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and the other thing with a young tree, in order for it to, to be strong, it's, you, you mustn't stake it. A, young, a very young tree should learn to wave around in the wind. Okay, because will it strengthen it up? Exactly, sort of thing? it will. Because if okay, you suddenly stick, stick a big stake in it, when that stake rots, it the tree is so used survive. to being held up. It, it you know, it, it that's can. Very, very, it, that's very helpful, it can actually, isn't it? It can cause problems. Interesting. So, um, but again, some people, you know, want an instant tree, and then you have to put, mm. put a stake in when they want, when they plant a tree that's big. Yes, and then, otherwise. But again, not to make the mistake of, of staking it right up. You should only stake it about a third, lower than a third of the way up. Right. Again, so the tops can wave, but it's held. It's got stability you know, at the bottom. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's, that's great to know. Yeah. What's that? Uh, the that's sort of tall. That's beautiful. another a really good tree for a small garden, again, because it doesn't take up much room and very decorative and mm -hmm. has wonderful autumn colour. And it's Prunus Amanagar. Um, which is lovely, I think. God, you're amazing with all these names. Well, yeah, it's only got, this is a lovely <laughs> copper beech here, which is it's going to, I mean, it's lovely. I'm rather pleased with that. I only planted that about, that was only, it's only 20 years, that. Pretty and it's big. a good sized tree. Yeah. And I tell you the other yes. thing that I think are really pretty, which you see all around the country, and they've been fantastic flowering this year, are, are all the wild cherries. Those are all yes. the wild cherries. Wow. going down there um, and again uh, this is a lovely May I mean this is just um, you know a contagious it's just yeah. May you know and it's wonderful it's covered in white flowers in the yeah. spring it looks like a wedding cake when, when it's you know in about um, well in May yeah um, and, and they're you know people think they're just sort of rather common trees but they're beautiful no, nevertheless really beautiful. Um, and then you can just see, oh, I'll go down a bit, the hornbeam, which I've made into um, sort of vases. The, these are the three more Asa Grisium that you were, that I put oh, right, a group yes, of three. Lovely you can see the orange sort of lighting up now, really. Yes, but you can. It's, and then um, I planted a pair of hornbeam Franz Fontaine to frame the gateway, but we can see that when they go down, which are lovely. They're so easy, hornbeam. They sort of never let you down, and you can cut the them shape or is shape brilliant. them. It's yeah. quite fun to frame, really fun. frame the gateway. You can do so much with um, Oh, the with sun's coming out for us, I think. Yes, I think it is. Yeah. But it just shows um, the, the frost we've had, because this is a terracaria. It's a carrier, which is uh, the um, which is walnut family, um, and the, the trouble is that they seem they bud up and then that heavy frost completely oh. killed all the leaves. So it's now just starting new lot of leaves now. So unfortunately, it probably won't have its wonderful tassels. No. It gets the most lovely long, almost foot long flowers later on. But it won't die, it's just rather annoying. Yeah, very annoying. Um, with these late frosts. And um, these areas here, yeah. these areas here that are uncut, do you, do you sort of, there's you've got the lovely I know, cowslip. These are all, uh, these I cut really late. Right. So, um, and then we keep them short. Like the last cut, probably in about, I think November really, or in right. about to, because otherwise you don't get the wildflowers and the, and the okay. cowslips are 
fabulous. I mean, oh, they're, they're so covered. look at that. Yeah, there. yeah. So we've got, got lots of cowslips, and then I've got wild orchids. Or all, all this is covered in wild orchids later on. I mean, not that I've, oh, I haven't wonderful. done anything. I just don't have time to sort of, no. you know, the trouble is if I was to make this into a wild, wildflower meadow, you know, you have to shave it and then you have to, you know, lots of work. It's a hell of a lot of work, actually. Yeah, um, yeah, as lovely as it is. Um, it is a lot of work. Yeah. And anyway, we're lucky we've got so many wildflowers. Anyway, yeah, we're yeah, you don't really need, you don't really need to, do you? Um, and, um, this is rather a gorgeous little tree. It, this is, it's literally just, a, it's, it's another salix, um, you know, one of the weeping willows, little salix. I've got the several umbrella. salix. I've got the, uh, the black pussy willow there, which is wonderful. It has black pussy. <laughs> it has pitch black pussies and it's fantastic. <laughs> It really is. Beautiful. No, no, I mean, I've... it really is. It's unbelievable and very unusual. I don't know why you don't see it more often because it's, it's really pretty. And I've got another one in the bog garden which is pink, but I'm not going to go further than that. But it's pink. So <laughs> they really, really are so pretty. <laughs> They're so beautiful. Uh, they really are so beautiful, Salix. That's another Salix there, that tree with the grey leaves. Um, so gorgeous. So what's this here? That's um, Rheum palmatum. <laughs> wow, look at that. Which is rather lovely. Yeah. Amazing. Um, your garden seems so much more further ahead. Maybe it's because these... Well, maybe. maybe it's because and yet we're very high. Yes. Um, I could also... Have high. I've got terrible problems with deer. We've got roe deer, fallow deer. They come and eat death. everything. And I've, I've, they've eaten so many things, but luckily they're now culling them. You see, they didn't cull them in, the, in lockdown. Oh, I see. So there's now an over. So, yeah. Um, um, and Rosie, I mean, the thing that's... is, your garden looks so wonderful. And, and it's because you have planted everything in such a way that, you know, stuff will come out at different times of year. Yeah. So it yes. looks beautiful already, whereas ours doesn't. Well, I've, um, yes, I've, well, um, no, I'm, I've, yours is lovely. Will you show us some of your um, flower beds, uh, uh, yes. of everything you sort of got in there? Um, I'll show mm. you on the way up. I mean, yes. um, okay. Um, it would just yes. be really helpful to know what, I don't know, what can give sort of quick rewards, I suppose, yes. of colour. Yes, I, I, yes I, I know what you mean. It's, it's quite difficult to, you want things flowering in the spring. killed too easily. <laughs> you want things flowering in the spring and then you want them, you know, throughout the summer. Yes. And autumn and, yeah, absolutely. This is wonderful. This is um, Viburnum calcifellum. Just smell that. That it smells wonderful. Oh wow, that is and it is gorgeous. It's such a lovely thing. Really uh, lovely. This is my my oh, shady it. my bog garden. This is quite fun up here. This is all the shade loving plant. That's another. Isn't that pretty? The, see the honesty with the copper leaves, with the copper leaves, which is rather different Gosh, to the that, yeah. you know to the ones you saw up those steps at the, at the steps. top, which is rather lovely. Yeah. But be careful up here, because I'm in the middle of, of trying to divert, because there's a natural spring coming out, and it was coming down the wrong way. Oh. And so I've had to divert it of course. <laughs> so that it goes through the bog garden. How so. long ha have you been creating, I mean, this, all this bog garden? How many years' worth of work is this? I mean, has this been... This is probably about um, 19 or... Yeah. 19, 18 or 19 years or something. It's just think, wonderful. This is actually another of the valerians. This oh, extraordinary great thing. There's so many, so many sorts of valerian. Um, oh, it's just great. This is lovely thing. This is Lace Hysteria Formosa Aurea. It's a beautiful thing, and that looks good all summer. And, and it's it's a very pretty shrub. That very useful shrub. No, Dave, that's rather sad. I killed my tree fern. <laughs> Oh, um, I took I took it off before the frost, <laughs> and um, 
I mean, think before the, heavy, the, the late frost arrived. Oh, okay. So the frost killed it. I thought that we wouldn't have any more frost. And then one came along. And, and then, yeah. yeah. So I killed that last year and it stayed there because I'm planting, I'm going to get another one from Cornwall when I go down to Cornwall. Oh, brilliant. And get another one. Um, and then, oh, look, this, this is extraordinary. Look at the size of the trunk of that rose. That's like a God, tree look trunk. At that. This is um, Rose of Wickwall, which has white flowers and is pretty grey foliage. But the whole balsam poplar came down and we had to prop, cut it in half and prop it up and I thought we'd lose everything, but it's all survived, luckily. It's, well, I bet that looks amazing. It does look amazing. Flower. It's a waterfall of white flowers. Oh, beautiful. This is by Burnham. Absolutely beautiful. Um, Rizzi Picatum, which is lovely in a minute. It's going to be covered. Um, and um, you're coming up to um, this. This is uh, all these two various blossoms. Some, some are over, actually. Some of the primuses are over. This is um, Taihaku, Prunus Taihaku. You know that. Um, Gosh, it's beautiful. Which is rather lovely. Yeah. It's wonderful the way it sort of fans out. Yes, it's, 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 I love, it's rather architectural. Yeah, it? it's it's it is. Trunk. Oh, look at that gorgeous elephant. <laughs> I do love that. That um, was given to, cause, uh, was given to Robert, my, my sister actually found. It's all one piece of wood. It weighs a ton because Robert's family crest is an elephant with a front straight mm -hmm. up. Just yeah. Where did she find it? Do you know, I think it's like here. Yes, she found it in this country. But he is rather lovely. He is beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Where is it? It was so sweet. A wren. I don't know if she's going to be nesting in there again. But a wren nested in here last year. And, oh, wow. and, the, and the baby has all survived. Did they? Yes. The dog is no get them. God. Oh, they my didn't. dogs would have so She was nose. nesting, this tiny little red was nesting. Sweet. The eggs were so tiny, it was so sweet. Um, oh, we'd love and, to see your um, uh, the, your ro robin. Yes, oh no, well, she, she'll probably, if the dogs if she's not aren't with us, she might, well, she'll come. I mean, if I call her, she'll come with us. Um, and now there's another robin. Ruby and I have had for two years. Um, and then she suddenly disappeared. And one day I was on my hands and knees in the, in the kitchen garden. And suddenly in front of me, there was this tiny little ball. It was tragic with no tail and blood oh. and scabs all oh, around her awful. neck. And she was up sitting there, this, and I, she'd come back, but after three weeks, oh, she was obviously you? nearly killed, nearly dead. And um, I think either a buzzard or a, Sparrow right hawk, and luckily hadn't killed her, oh, and she, it took thing. her about, oh, I mean, weeks before she dared come up above yes. the, the ground. You know what I mean? Because she was so frightened, so Poor nervous. Thing. Um, but anyway, I fed her and fed her, and she recovered, and, and finally her tail feathers um, grew, and now she's back to her normal self, singing away on top of everything. <laughs> so, so, so and, it was, and does she? And she? What you said to me earlier, she can sit on your head can she when you're gardening when, when i'm gardening she if she's frustrated that i'm not feeding her yeah. she wants attention come annoy you. she'll come and she'll she'll hover like a hummingbird in yeah. front of me saying i'm here okay. yeah hurry up get she's my so sweet and then she'll sit on my head and get tangled up in my oh, sweet touch <laughs> so funny oh, sweet. um this is rather these are rather lovely these are the copper hazel which um have pink um Pink hazelnuts. Wow. Oh, they're wow. rather they're so pretty when the when the hazelnuts come because they're sort of pink. Um, and oh yes, the, the other tree which you see this is Sorbus lutetiens, which is a very good tree to have in a you know, they don't get that huge. Um, and they're lovely in the spring. Any minute now lovely. it'll look lovely, but they die rather badly, they just shrivel up the leaves. Whereas Sorbus John Mitchell, that huge tree which you saw on the way down, um, that's another Sorbus, and that has huge grey leaves. And 
and the under, when the wind blows, the underside is pure white and oh, they're wow. so attractive. And they die beautifully because they go lovely buttermilk yellow. Yes. So, so they, they just flop down in a lovely way. Yeah. So this one dies badly and that one dies well. This is another fantastic tree. Um, this is uh, Malus transitoria. And they are beautiful trees. This, is a, this will be covered in white flowers. And then it has little tiny, you wouldn't know it was a crab apple, mm. tiny little berries of yellow berries. And then it has lovely autumn color, golden autumn color. And this is another smaller one. I'm going to get them to join up. Yes, it's lovely yeah. having uh, trees actually that are bearing in mind yes. uh, of what the autumn colour is yeah, going exactly. to be like. So that, can... That's another good thing. Yes. Um, but this would be a nice tree for a small garden, but it does, it's more horizontal, you know, it yes. spreads. Yeah. As you can see, that's very yeah. good spreading. Um, and these are max, this is um, the hazel again. Um, but this is. Maxima purpurea one, which has much bigger leaves and bigger hairs. It's more decorative than the ordinary one, that's all. But it, it hasn't sort of really come out yet. Um, oh, that variety here. Um, there, there, uh, I'll tell you, another family that's very useful to, to plant in your gardens are the Pittisporum family. There are so many pretty Pittisporums. That's one, Tenifolium. Um, Pittisporum tenifolium, which is a lovely thing, and they, they you know, they just look good all the year all, yeah. round. Um, and this is another Acer. Um, um, this is lovely, but it's not out yet. You can't see that. It's got sort of a few other It's another beast. Um, oh uh, wow. Um, it's, this is just quite pretty, with it. Um, so magical. And I think I can hear her singing. Oh, there's a robin. Yeah, I'll call her in a minute. Um, you know, I, and I, the other really useful uh, plants are all the euonymus family. You know, if you want a, a really easy shrub. Yes. And I've actually got them as standards there, but there's Euonymus Silver Queen, and um, all, which I think is terribly pretty, which is what they are. Okay. As fantastic. standards. Um, and in fact, look, my one of our, my peonies is out already. Uh, Gosh, look at that. I planted some peonies last year, but they didn't flower and oh well maybe they will this year do you think maybe, maybe it takes yes. a year for them to settle some 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 when you get them you know for, when did you plant them oh gosh i can't remember probably oh a few years ago or... no no last oh, year was no it was last sort of spring oh well, maybe april maybe they might not they, yes no. I'm, I'm sure they will hopefully they will i hope so um yes I, and so when you're doing these, these beds, do you sort of like to, is it important to sort of mix shrubs, ever, well, I, evergreen I do, stuff? Because I'll tell you, tell you why, like here now, there, there oh. would be nothing if, if you hadn't got the tapery as yes. well, what yeah. I call, or, 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 or evergreen. Yes. So I, I always think you need that, so, so it, it looks like something in the winter. It doesn't have to be anything clever or fussy, but you no. know, use a bit of box or like... Um, the the um, silver queen yes one was and in fact that that's just a, a, a shrub that I just started clipping years ago and I just made it into an, you know that's another really. shape really yeah and then I've made a sort of thistle shape out of that box of them. oh look <laughs> yes um, you know so, it's, so at least it's you know so can you basically cut anything into shape. Um, well, some things well, are easy. Some things would work better than others. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, box and yew and um, ligustrums and um, you know, 
uh, Lenisra. I mean, that's a Lenisra, for instance. Mm. And that's, you can do what you like with, and it grows very quickly. Yeah. That's another good thing. And you know that you can rather like the um, Portuguese laurel over there, you know, into a mushroom yes. on top of it. Yeah. Know, that, that you can keep happily. Yeah. And it's evergreen. And then, and then it's rather nice, you see, to mix things like, you know, having your roses up something. I mean, this is an mm. old bottle, a wine, a French um, wine bottle dryer. It's brilliant. <laughs> um, and I found those in some reclamation place. Um, oh, look, here she is. Rubina. Oh, look. Hello, darling. I'm just going. Give me a look. I'm here. Yeah. Come on, then. Come on. Come on. It's not. It's only Oli and Panda. Come on. Come on, darling. Come on. Come on. Not sure, is she? She says, I, I don't know these people. There, darling. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. There we are. Oh, that's so wonderful. There we are. There we are, darling. I think she's just slightly worried. Yeah, no, I'm sure. But, um, okay. Who are these people? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and, um, anyway, what was I going to say? I can't remember now. Um, um so... What else is I going to say? What I'd love to see is, is just you to tell us some, I don't know, uh, suggestions uh, and, and tips on, on what. Okay, so what and, and again, clip, I mean, uh, the other lovely thing, uh, um, pandas is, is, you know, you can do so much with clematis, you know, like, you know, I've cut an old tree stump down and I grow clematis yes, up things that. and I sometimes mix the clematis with the roses so you've yeah. got a, a, a mixture down on the other post I've got a mixture of roses and um, a climbing rose and clematis which is you know which is quite good and I slightly let my rambling roses you know looser probably than a lot of people would make them all tightly clipped but I, yeah. I rather like it like yeah that, no, definitely um, and then in the flower beds, then, um, oh, this, this is a wonderful thing. It's such it's impossible to get going. <laughs> it's, yes, look at this. I'm going to ask it's, you. What, what is it? It's something called Smyrnium. Right. <laughs> and Rosemary Vieri gave me some seeds. And um, I just completely forgot about it because nothing happened for three years. She said it might not, it might not work. Know. You might not get it. And I, I was reading in here one day, and suddenly I saw a little plant in, uh, in, uh, with, the, with tiny leaves and things that I didn't recognise, so I left it, and it was oh, one. That? And that was three years later. Now they that's amazing. <laughs> They've seen it. It's so everywhere. pretty, isn't it? It is. It's wonderful. Absolutely I love it. It's that lovely fresh colour. Oh, isn't it? it's a lovely green, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Young leaves. And then, then you know, for flower beds and things, you just want. You know, the, the, this is oregano, but it's so fresh, you know, yes. and it's very good for edging, you know, and it has flowers in the summer. Yeah. Yeah. But it's very good for edging. Um, I mean, this is all looking a bit of a mess at the moment because obviously I've been sort of trying to sort it out. But um, it's not really worth seeing um, the borders at the moment. But And things, you know, for late summer, you want all the things like echinaceas and um, all the different flocks of wonderful flocks. All, yes. You know, yeah. you can't go wrong with the flocks. And then all the endless geraniums for the front of the borders. Yes. And and you, there are some which flower the whole summer, which I think is, you want to go for those ones, mm. like Roseanne and... And, and Rosie, um, deadheading. Yeah. Uh, and sort of, and, you know, cutting back. How important is that for sort of, you know, things to keep flowering oh, yes, throughout it, the summer? Is it if you've got time? If you've got time, yeah. If, I don't really know. Yeah. I mean, I just. But worth I just, it? Really? Oh, yes, it is. It yeah. is. Dead, well, I mean, well worth deadheading. Mm. It, 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 it certainly is, but I, I only do it if I've got a bit of time. Yes. You know, I see something that needs deadheading. Um, but. I couldn't begin to go through all the plants that I find useful, but 
what are know, your favorites i mean there are so many lovely campanulas for instance you know oh, yes. and, and, the, and ones that that i let seed run like campanula persisifolia which is flowers all summer white flowers and blue flowers there's an elbow and a blue one um and all the um thalictrums are wonderful too sorry that's that's that that's right. thalictrum right um, yeah. flavum glaucum which is a lovely plant it has tall pale pale plotty green green yellow flowers I love and that it. grows tall but there's, there are other many thalictrums with some with white flowers um which are terribly pretty um um and then you can then I, I just mix shrubs you know like yes. this um potentilla abbot's wood which flowers all summer and poppies you know and all the of, you know um yeah and just um oh, this lovely. is statues macrantha which is rather pretty looks as if somebody's used pinking scissors on the yes on the leaves you know um oh, and gorgeous and that is she a native? No, that, no, no, that's no. a rosemary. That's oh rosemary. Oh my God, is it? Sorry. It's <laughs> no, it is. So far, I know that. No, it is wonderful, that rosemary. Gosh, I have to look say. at that. Why does yeah. ours not look like that? Well, uh, that actually is a really strong blue one, which is a really? yeah. It's a lovely, lovely, but it's rosemary prostrata, and it has this lovely habit of, you know, cascading down a yes. bank or down a, a wall like that. And that started flowering at the beginning of February. Wow. I mean, ridiculous. It's on the warm winter. Flowering yeah. and flowering its head off. Look yeah. at it. Looks very, yeah. very happy. Yeah. No, it's so very happy. Very good, that one. Well worth having. Um, and you know, the other thing you can do a lot with is, is here, but there are so many pretty hollies um, that you can do things with and, you know, shape if you want, clip them. And, um, they're just rather nice. Yes alternative and I love I mean I let the valerians grow everywhere they you know they come yeah. out of the walls they, they you know, they're all over the garden these valerians I have them in the, the white and the lovely dark so if those white. come up leave them yes just leave them yeah. let them let them you know um because they and this is the red one the dark well it's going it hasn't started yeah we yet. get we get um, you get yeah quite a lot of that exactly. i never know whether to... oh no no it's just lovely because again it flowers the whole summer if you cut if you sort of cut it back it'll come again okay um this is a very pretty shrub sorry the mess here unbelievable um this is a, a lovely and another um pretty forum tom thumb very pretty isn't it pretty With, i colors. love the new shoots are green but yeah. it's um, copper for the rest yeah. of the summer this is all come that's my banks here look do you see it's just coming out the banks here yes um and this is a kibia this a kibia yes, look at those leaves this a kibia no that's no, sorry, that's, sorry. Uh, this this is a kibia look and it's got these lovely scented flowers it, it's uh, difficult to sort of see but it's so pretty and it's so oh <laughs> scented it's highly scented as well I can't find it enough to pick you. Yeah. Um, anyway, anyway. There's so many flowers. Aren't yeah. There? Anyway, it's, yeah. It's rather pretty, that. And that's that's uh, oh the that ivy. Ivy. <laughs> it's amazing ivy, yes. isn't it? I have to keep that well yeah. under control, but it's rather nice on the corner there, just yeah. as a sort of. Um, I keep it very narrow, but it's so. Uh, Huge Again, in, in the winter, it's rather nice to have. It's nice to have green, something, isn't it? And yeah. actually. A bit of green. Um, and mm. these, I just want to quickly ask you, so you very sweetly, I can't remember if it was last year or the year before, no, you gave me some of this. Yes, this little yeah, euphorbia. Little, yeah, it's, and it's growing. It is. Our, yeah. It oh, is that's very good. It, and it, it, it will, just, it, it will, it will. It will. It. This, this has done so its own thing. Pretty. Yes, so I didn't plant that. I mean, I didn't um, plant the others. I planted one, and then it's and just it's spread. spread. What that, is there anything is, else you suggest for this is this is very soon. pretty geranium for, right. for the shade this is geranium fam because look at the leaves yeah, and then these dear little flowers i love it but it's a shade so you can grow that in deep shade yes okay, um, that's good and, and that's rather useful um and can you uh just very last just quickly um tell us so roses for shade 
Yes. There are, um, what? Well, Madame, Al Madame Alfacari <laughs> will grow in the shade. Right. <laughs> Generous gardener, and um, and there are, there are quite a few. There are there are, there are, there are and, I mean, um, proper shade. Shropshire lad will grow in the shade. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. There are quite a few. Yes. Um. Um. But I would say probably uh, probably Madame Alfacari is probably if you want to write one that could go right up the yeah. Uh, um, don't look at Madame Alfred Curry at the moment because I've pruned her so late. Oh, so I'm okay. Not, no, she'll no, come. Fine. She'll come back. <laughs> um, um, and and pruning though these roses, how how brave can one be? Very brave. I, well, I think braver yes. than you sort of want to be. Yes. Yes. Okay. I think it's terribly important. That yeah. Actually, you know, a lot of people sort of get. And also, it's terribly important to fan your roses because if you if people just prune them a bit, yeah, and they're all the stems are going up, they don't flower nearly as well because if you have them okay. fanned and going horizontal, they then flower okay, off that's the shoots, really good yeah, to know. off the side shoots of that of the branch that's going along the wall. So rather than just straight go up. up, yeah, because then they'll more uh, they'll flower mostly at the top then. Mm. So you really want to fan out your radiators if they're on a wall. Okay, that's very yeah. useful. Very Definitely, useful. It's re that is important. Yeah. Um, um, oh, Rosie, thank yeah. you very, well, very much. Yeah. That was just so no, interesting. I um, <laughs> absolutely adore this garden. It's just oh, magical. Oh, it really is like being sweet. in a sort of wonderland. I, I, um, I do love it, I must say, but it's, it's just gorgeous. gorgeous. It's an amazing position and view. Thank you, Rosie. Oh, not at all, gosh.